Thank you, Dr. Hansen, for that introduction. Um, parents, faculty, distinguished guests, and the American University class of 2015, I want to talk to you all today about ambition, and as a noun, and as a human attribute. I think ambition gets a bad rap, and I can see why. Personal ambition can reflect the best and the worst of us. At times, it stems from the powerful desires we never share and never fully understand, and the places it takes us can be uncertain. I want to talk today about a different kind of ambition, an ambition that I found on this campus, embodied in the spirit of American University. My mom is a correctional officer. Her formidableness is matched by only one other person in my life, my grandmother. Both are here today. I was a kid like a lot of other kids, and my attention would get caught by a million shiny objects. And once I got tired of something, I always wanted to put it down. But my mother and my grandmother created a community around me, a community that had ambitions for me. And that meant I always, always had to see those shiny objects through. I made it all the way to Eagle Scout because when I tried to leave Boy Scouts in high school, my, high, my troop leader came to my house and didn't let me quit. If I got in trouble at school, if I acted out or neglected my work in any way, instead of labeling me as unruly, my teachers and principal would call my grandmother, who they knew because she took care of their homes. And she made it clear that I wasn't allowed to quit on myself. And my journey here today and my love for politics was fostered when a small town mayor drove 30 minutes out of his way just to let me shadow him in the halls of the local county courthouse. It was during these times that I felt the impact that a community could have on one individual the most. There are so many moments in our lives when a tiny thing, the work of a second, can send us in the wrong direction. And where if someone gently grabs you and sends you on the right course, everything can change. I got lucky, and I'm standing here today because of my mother and my grandmother, and because of the community that they created around me. The one that had so many ambitions for me, the one that was constantly grabbing me and sending me on that right course. My ambition didn't grow out of nowhere. It was planted in me by a community that nurtured me. I think about that quote from Michael Eric Dyson a lot. The world is not a perfect place, but it can be a much better one when each of us strives to foster ambitions in our own communities. Ambitions for kindness, ambitions for empathy, and ambitions for good. Graduates, consider the world we are graduating into for a moment. A place where the CEO of a drug company can raise the price of a life-saving drug by 5,000% overnight and then be forced to lower it again the next day because of a revolution spurred on by an army of 140 character tweets. A place where a journalist can take a picture of a refugee child laying lifeless on a beach in Greece and beam that image around the world in a matter of seconds, spurring an unprecedented conversation about our civilization's approach to tragedy and tyranny. A place where the President of the United States can make an argument for universal health care coverage seated with Zach Galifianakis in between two firms. We have never before lived in a time where the ambitions of our better angels have been so powerfully met by the tools of communication, where a single keystroke or video upload can launch a thousand ships to advance the common thread tying together the political philosophies of Thomas Hobbes, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, and John Locke the simple need for all individuals in a society to work together for a common good. The ambition of a community has never had more power to spread than it does today, right at this moment. Class of 2015, we may not always succeed in our personal ambitions. We may fail on our way to a goal. And we may allow ambition to, for more to consume our existence. But it is at those times that we need to turn to the individuals surrounding us here today, that we need to look to the ambitions our personal communities have for us, and that we need to remember to have ambitions for people other than ourselves. 
The ambitions my own community had for me were always better and kinder and stronger than the ones I had for myself. Class of 2015, remember that personal ambition can drive you forward, but community ambition will always help you find your own best self. Thank you.